Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Junior Book Awards presentation. I'm Joel Thompson, principal here at Mount Lebanon High School, and it is a pleasure to welcome our student honorees, their families, friends, and staff members joining us this morning. I would also like to introduce some guests with us this morning, uh, including Mr. Or Dr. Ronald Davis, our assistant superintendent for secondary education. In addition, we welcome representatives from various universities and colleges and their alumni associations, as well as a representative from the Historical so Society of Mount Lebanon and the Society of Women Engineers, Pittsburgh section. We are pleased these guests were able to join us today. I would also like to recognize and thank for organizing this morning's pro program, school counselor, Mr. Jared Smith. Not only is this his first year organizing it, but doing it amidst a global pandemic, so certainly appreciate his efforts. We're here this morning to take time to honor and recognize a group of special students who continue to demonstrate the highest level of academic excellence, as well as superb work outside of the classroom through various activities and personal commitments. Each spring, universities and alumni associations across the country as well as our own local Mount Lebanon Historical Society, participate in a tradition to help high schools recognize outstanding junior class students. These institutions have invited the Mount Lebanon High School faculty and administration to nominate a high achieving juniors for book awards, prizes, medals, and certificates. In some cases, opportunities for scholarships are attached to these awards. The exact criteria are established by each institution. This awards tradition has existed for several decades and has honored many outstanding Mount Lebanon juniors over the years. Several of the awards will be presented by a representative from the sponsoring institution joining us this morning. For some of the awards, a member of the high school administration will be presenting the special recognition on behalf of the college or university. Let's begin with the presentation of the awards. Our first award is the Brandeis University Award. The Brandeis University Book Award for Social Action and Civic Engagement is offered to an outstanding high school junior who demonstrates a commitment to civic engagement, community service, political activism, social justice, or volunteer work. Award recipients receive a copy of the book, Tuesdays with Maury, by Brandeis alumni Mitch Album, and if admitted to Brandeis, a $3,000 scholarship in the first year of study. We are pleased to present this Brandeis University Book Award to Madeline Thompson. Next to present the Brown University Book Award is Unit 3 Principal, Mrs. Carly McGinty. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. Have that difficult situation with readers and masks, if anyone else has that, so if you'll bear with me. Thank you. The Brown University Book Award Program was started by the Brown Alumni Association in 1960. This award honors a junior student who best combines academic excellence with clarity in writ written and spoken expression. In this regard, the following statement has been recorded on the inside book plate. Quote, language is the highest expression of our humanity. It defines what we are and what we aspire to be. Those who use words effectively will be the leaders in their generation. In them, we invest our hope. To them, we accord our respect. With this award, we salute their potential." Quote. The book presented for the Brown University Book Award is determined yearly. A committee chooses a recently published book by a Brown University professor or alumnus 
who reflects the criteria of the award. This year's book is The Alchemy of Us, How Humans and Matter Transformed One Another by Anissa Ramirez. The award is sponsored by Brown alumnus and Mount Lebanon resident, Dr. Ronald Landay, class of 1969. We are pleased to present this year's Brown University Book Award to Rosemary Christ. At this time, Mr. Thompson will return to the podium. The next award is the Carson Scholars Fund Scholarship Prize. The Carson Scholar Fund was founded by world-renowned John Hops Johns Hopkins pedi pediatric neuro neurosurgeon and former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, Benjamin S. Carson and supports two main initiatives, the Carson Scholars Program and the Ben Carson Reading Project. The Carson Scholars Fund awards $1,000 college scholarships to students in grades four through 11 who excel academically and are dedicated to serving their communities. Scholarship winners receive the honor of being named Carson Scholars and are awarded an Olympic sized medal and trophy for their school to celebrate their accomplishments. Students must be nominated by an educator at their school. Carson Scholars must have a minimum GPA of a 3.75 and display humanitarian qualities through community service. Scholarships are awarded solely on the basis of academic achievement and humanitarian qualities without regard to financial need, ethnicity, creed, or religion. In 1996, the first year that the scholarships were awarded, 25 deserving students were recognized as scholars. Today, through the generosity of donors and partners, more than 500 scholarships are awarded annually. We are very proud and excited to recognize a Mount Lebanon High School junior as a Carson Scholar Award recipient this school year. Please join me in congratulating Madeline Thompson on this achievement. Next, I'd, I'd like to ask Mr. Brian Dwyer, Assistant Director of Undergraduate Admissions at Chatham University, to present our Chatham University Rachel Carson Healthy Planet Award. Good morning. The Chatham University uh, Rachel Carson Healthy Planet Award is a new national award for emerging leaders in sustainability communi and community development. The Rachel Carson Healthy Planet Award recognizes deserving nominated students from high schools who embody the spirit of Rachel Carson, class of 1929, and his or her dedication to sustainability and community development. Winners of the Rachel Carson Healthy Planet Award receive a special edition of Silent Spring, Rachel Carson's groundbreaking 1962 book that helped launch the modern environmental movement a $5,000 a year annual scholarship to Chatham University and a certificate of achievement. This year's recipient for the Rachel Carson Healthy Planet Award, please join me in congratulating Kate Kessler. The Clarkson University Leadership Award honors a junior who demonstrates outstanding leadership qualities and is recognized by students and faculty as having been a positive contributor to our school and community. 
the recipient is eligible to receive a $15,000 merit scholarship per year if they apply and are admitted to Clarkston University. This year, we are pleased to present this award to Jordan Neister. The Clarkson University Achievement Award honors a junior who demonstrates outstanding leadership qualities and is recognized by students and faculty as having been a positive contributor to our school and community. The recipient is eligible to receive a $12,000 merit scholarship per year if they apply and are admitted to the Clarkson University. This year, we are pleased to present this award to Samuel Bailey. So I am a proud alum of the College of William and Mary in Virginia, class of 1980, so I'm always pleased and honored to be able to give this award each year. The William and Mary Leadership Award is presented to one outstanding current junior from each high school in Virginia and select high schools across the United States. Students considered for this award should demonstrate leadership in and outside the classroom. Past recipients have been described as risk takers, decision makers, opinion leaders, go-getters, bridge builders, and catalysts for change. Award recipients receive a certificate and commendation and a copy of the book, A Passion for Leadership, written by William and Mary alumnus and current Chancellor Robert Gates. Chancellor Gates was the first alumnus to hold this position in William and Mary's modern history and previously served as director of the CIA and Defense, Secretary of Defense from 2016 to 2011. The College of William and Mary Leadership Award is given to Josephine Dougherty. And the book is on the way. At this time, I would like to ask to the podium to present the Harvard University Prize Award, Dr. Amy Paré. She is class of 1988 Harvard graduate, and she's a plastic surgeon in the South Hills. She's the happy beekeeper with two dogs, two cats, and a 14-year-old USC soccer player. But we won't hold the USC against you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, welcome. Harvard's an old school, and Harvard's had some famous alumni and some very infamous ones, too. But this old university is not so out of touch to recognize the importance of hometown work. I'd be remiss if I didn't add that Harvard welcomes all of you to join our family, whether online, as undergraduates, and graduate students. These programs are available throughout the year, covering a variety of topics, often requiring no previous knowledge of the topic. This emphasizes the lifelong love of learning, questioning, and improving. Some of these things Harvard does very well right now. In other areas, Harvard will need your help, students like you, to improve. Going to college is not a four-year episode in your life. Instead, it is a lifelong adventure. Please bring the Harvard family along with your adventure in your life. And it is my pleasure to award Benjamin Ash with the Harvard Book Award.
Next to present the Historical Society of Mount Lebanon Book Award is Miss Amanda Gillen. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, my name is Amanda. I am um, a Mount Lebanon resident. I am the vice president of the Historical Society of Mount Lebanon. And in my day job, I am the director of learning and visitor experience at the Frick Museum. Um, I say that because um, I'm so proud to be giving this award to um, an exceptional nominee for this year's Mount Lebanon Historical Society Book Award. Um, the, any student who is reading history um, is a kindred spirit of mine. And I think this past year has shown us that the study of history and looking back to how people have um, solved problems and dealt with things in the past is a most useful exercise. Um, to any of you out there who love to study history and um, are thinking about moving on and studying history for your career, um, I would just say don't let anyone tell you or ask you what are you going to do with that because there are a million things that you can do with that. Um, and on behalf of the Historical Society, I am so pleased to present um, a book, um, a new book by David Reynolds, Abraham Lincoln in his times, a little light reading for the summer, um, to today's exceptional nominee, Melanie Rail. Good morning. The Johns Hopkins Book Award was established by Johns Hopkins University Alumni Association to recognize outstanding high school juniors who must plainly exhibit the following characteristics to be granted the award. A desire for intellectual and moral growth, an uncommon interest in and capacity for independent and original scholarship, and the strength of character necessary to employ the results of their scholarship for the betterment of society. Founded in 1876 by Mr. Johns Hopkins in Baltimore, the university began with the express orientation of revolutionizing American university education. Within several years, it had successfully established in this country the archetypal model of the modern research university, boasting 36 Nobel Prize winners. Johns Hopkins has been from its beginning a world leader in teaching research and innovations at the undergraduate and graduate and postgraduate levels. This year's Johns Hopkins Book Award will be presented to Lauren Gill. and the book is on the way. It's now my pleasure to introduce Mrs. Colleen Brecker Frank, Princeton alumni, 1993, Mount Lebanon resident and 1989 Mount Lebanon High School graduate for the Princeton University Book Award. Hello everyone. Um, I'm proud to be here today. Um, as, as Mr. Ridge mentioned, I'm an alum of this fantastic institution of Mount Lebanon High School. Um, I'm also an alum of Princeton University, a resident, and um, most importantly, a proud parent. Um, I have two boys, one's in ninth grade and one's a junior. And um, so I have much to be proud about today. Um, and before I go to my script, I'm going off script for a minute. And I just wanted to say congratulations to all of you here today. I mean, this has been a year like no other, and you all have persevered, and you've worked, and for the most part, I've seen a lot of smiles. So this is an opportunity for us to come together and recognize that, and I wanted to say it out loud. I know you'll hear it when you get home, or you probably heard it when you got the invite, but. Once more, congratulations to all of you. Okay, so now back to my script. 
Um, the Princeton Book Award is given to outstanding students at the end of their junior year. Sponsored locally by the Princeton Alumni Association of Western Pennsylvania. That's partly me. Uh, the criteria for selection of the student includes intellectual promise and academic excellence, exemplary service or extracurricular activities, and outstanding personal character. This year's book is called Power, Speed, and Form. It was written by Professor Billington, who is very well known. It's a combination of engineering, but presented for everyone to, to appreciate the impact. And um, this year, the University, Princeton University Book Award is presented to Kalyan Stefanov. The next award to be presented is the Russian Thaler Polytechnical Institute Medal Program. This medal was first presented in 1916 with two purposes. To recognize the superlative academic achievement of young men and women and to motivate students toward careers in science, engineering, and technology. For more than 100 years, Russian Thaler, Russian Thaler Polytechnic Institute, in conjunction with high schools around the world, has awarded this medal to promising school students who have distinguished themselves in mathematics and science. The recipient of the award has the ability to apply for merit scholarship with a minimum value of $25,000 per year and is guaranteed for four years for each medalist who applies, is accepted, and enrolls at Russenthaler Polytechnical Institute. This year's recipient is David Young. I'd like to call back to the stage uh, Mr. Dan Ridge, our Unit 1 Acting Principal. This award is the Rochester Institute of Technology Computing Metal Scholarship Program Award, and there are two recipients. The Computing Metal Scholarship Program was established to recognize high school juniors who have distinguished themselves academically, are active and involved members of their school and community, and demonstrate interest and ability in computing. For each award recipient who is admitted and enrolls at RIT in the fall, immediately following graduation from high school, they will receive an annual scholarship worth $8,000. This year's awards are presented to Julian McCush, and Madeline Ray. The next award is also the Rochester Institute of Technology. And this award is the Innovation and Creativity Award Scholarship Program. Similar to the last award, the Innovation and Creativity Award Scholarship Program of RIT recognizes high school juniors who have distinguished themselves academically, are active and involved members of their school community, and demonstrate outstanding achievement in innovation, creativity, or entrepreneurship. Each award recipient who is admitted and enrolls at RIT in the fall immediately following graduation from high school will also receive an annual scholarship worth $8,000. This year, we again have two award winners. This year's Innovation and Creativity Awards are presented to Philip Papert 
and Tori Pekarczyk. Philip unfortunately can't be with us this morning, and Tori's on her way up. I'd like to now present again Unit 3 Principal, Mrs. Carly McGinty, to present the next award. The Smith College Club of Greater Pittsburgh wishes to recognize the achievements of students at area high schools by presenting the Smith Book Award to an outstanding junior who exemplifies the academic achievement, leadership qualities, and concern for others that characterizes the thousands of women who have graduated from Smith College. This year's recipient is an excellent student who is creative, athletic, and motivated. In addition, she combines her academic excellence with a concern for others as demonstrated through her community service activities. This year's award is presented to Anna Maris. This time, Mr. Ridge will return to the podium. The St. Michael's College Book Award for Academic Achievement and Social Conscience is awarded each year to high school juniors throughout the United States as well as internationally. The Book Award recognizes students' academic success and exemplary community service involvement. The accomplishments embody St. Mike's commitment to intellectual achievement, social justice, and concern for others. The values began with our founding order of society of St. Edmund and continue to be a guiding principle for our students. This year's book is Lulu in the Sky, written by Luong Ong, Ong, a 1993 graduate of St. Michael's College, is a writer, human rights activist, and national spokesperson for Campaign for Landmine Free World. The St. Michael's Book Award also carries with it consideration for the St. Michael's Book Award Scholarship. This year we have two recipients, Haley Latona and Harry Mullen. Now my pleasure to introduce Ms. Mary Ann Walsh, Society of, <clears throat> of Women Engineers in Pittsburgh section. Good morning everyone and congratulations to all of you too. My name is Mary Ann Walsh. I'm a chemical engineer and an industrial engineer from University of Pittsburgh. Now I'm retired but I've worked over 30 years in the nuclear energy industry. I'm a volunteer leader for the Society of Women Engineers, which we like to affectionately abbreviate as SWE. Engineering is a great career choice for women and men also. SWE though has been encouraging girls to pursue engineering for more than 70 years. And once they become engineers, SWE provides resources and networking to help them succeed. We also have hundreds of STEM programs for girls 
such as this Certificate of Merit program. This program honors high school girls who have high achievement in science and math and are interested in engineering as a career. We would also like to publicly recognize the Southwestern Pennsylvania Engineering Organization for giving SWE a grant to partially fund this program. This morning, I would like to present two awards to honor a junior and a sophomore at Mount Lebanon High School. We are very proud of these girls and their achievements. The sophomore honoree is Carly Grant, and the junior honoree is Natalie McGee. The next book award is the Tulane University Book Award. The Tulane University Book Award is offered, is offered to recognize a junior student who embodies Tulane's motto, not for one's self, but for one's own, and has demonstrated excellence in academics, leadership, and public service in their respective communities. Award recipients receive a certificate in, in accommodation and a copy of Bienville's Dilemma, Historical Geography of New Orleans, written by Richard Campanella, a geographer at Tulane University. We are excited to present the Tulane University Book Award to Elizabeth Chiapetta. So unfortunately, Elizabeth was not able to be, a, be here this morning, but she can certainly pick up her book uh, when she's able to. And again, congratulations to Elizabeth. Uh, next to present the University of Pennsylvania Book Award is Mr. Donald Bonk. Uh, Mr. Bonk is a Penn alumnus and a six-term president of the University of Pennsylvania Alumni Chapter of Western Pennsylvania in Pittsburgh. Mr. Bonk is the principal of Good Fortune Innovative LLC, an economic community and business development consultancy. He has served as the director of strategic business and connections at Carne Carnegie Mellon University and has many years of professional experience as an international trade consultant. Mr. Bonk. Good morning, everybody. I'm proud and happy to represent the University of Pennsylvania here this morning. Uh, I just wanted to mention a few things very quickly. Uh, this book award is given to outstanding students who exemplify not only academic uh, achievement, but also character and, and devotion to the community and public service. Uh, the book today is uh, about Ben Franklin. It's written by Walter Isaacson, a former editor of Time Magazine, who's also done books on Steve Jobs and, and uh, Leonardo da Vinci. I wanted to share with you two brief thoughts before presenting the award. I've served for 10 years as the Penn Alumni Interview Program Co-Chair, and I always talk to students about something that I think you might want to remember as you leave the auditorium today. Number one, no admissions committee of any university can make you a success. Only your personal conviction about success can make you a success. Every student in here is a highly competitive and, and high achieving person. Uh, a, a lot of stress goes into this uh, uh, academic uh, year when you're looking at colleges and universities, but all of you will go to a top university. But I just say to you, your personal feeling and conviction about success will make the difference. Second of all, please visit universities. Uh, in the post-COVID environment, that's gonna be available to you. And as I say to all my family and friends, my happiest place on earth is at, at the Locust Walk at the University of Pennsylvania in front of the Ben Franklin statue. And I hope you too can find uh, a place that's your happiest place on earth as you think about where you're going to be heading in, in the future. So today I want to present this award to Connor Frank, if you want to come up, who's done, thank you. And, and Connor's done great things academically on the swim team and orchestra and has really been an outstanding leader. Thank you.
the next award, and there are four awards associated uh, with the University of Rochester's High School Awards Program. Since 1933, the University of Rochester's High School Awards Program has collaborated with high schools around the world to recognize their most talented students. Each year, the university offers four awards to recognize over 5,000 outstanding high school juniors in the fields of community action, leadership, science, and technology. Through the program's rich 80 plus year history, countless award winners have entered Rochester as members of this proud tradition, conducting research as early as their freshman year and ultimately becoming innovators in their respective fields. Award recipients who apply to the university will have their applic application fee waived and will be considered for the scholarship that corresponds with their award. Recipients of these awards will be eligible for a merit award of at least $10,000 a year. The awards are as follows. The first is the Bosch and Loam Honorary Science Award. Founded in Rochester in 1835, Bosch and Loam is the preeminent global technology-based healthcare company for the eye. The Bosch and Loam Honorary Society Award has been awarded each year since 1933 to honor outstanding achievement by a junior, a junior student in high school's science classes and high math scores on the PSAT and or the, ACE, the SAT. This year's recipient is Matthew Baisley. Our next award is the Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award. Rochester natives Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony led the fight to end inequalities through dialogue and action. This award is given annually to a student who has demonstrated commitment to understanding and addressing difficult social issues, leadership, and a dedication to community action and strong grades and rigorous courses taken in the humanities and social sciences. This year, the award is presented to Mackenzie Hughes. As a highlight of Mackenzie's leadership, she will be our, uh, one of our co-presidents for the student body next year. So we look forward to working with Mackenzie in the future. <laughs> the next award is the George Eastman Young Leader Award. The George Eastman, uh, excuse me, George Eastman was the founder of the Eastman Kodak Company, one of the lo world's largest and most successful companies in America. His leadership lives on through the Kodak and through his philanthropy, including a gift of over $50 million that helped transform the University of Rochester into an internationally celebrated institution. This award is given to a junior who demonstrates strong leadership and experience at school and in the community, high grades and challenging courses and extensive involvement in extracurricular activities. This year, the award goes to Ms. Sydney Seva. And as a theme, Sid will also be one of our co-presidents next year. So we look forward to continuing to work with Sid. The last award is the Xerox Award for Innovation and in Information Technology. Founded in Rochester in 1906, the Xerox Corporation is one of the world's top technology pioneers. The Xerox Award annually recognizes a junior student who has demonstrated interest in innovation and or information technology. Expose, exposure to new technologies outside of school, and leading other students to new approaches to old problems, business plans for fundraising, 
and innovative community service and after school activities. The Xerox Award is presented to Caroline Cousins. Our next award is the University of Virginia Book Award. To present this award, I'll ask Mr. James Woods to come to the podium. Mr. Woods is a University of Virginia McIntyre School of Commerce 1974 alumnus, the past president of the UVA Club of Pittsburgh, and he's also a Mount Lebanon resident. Good morning, everybody. I'm here today to present the Jefferson Book Award, which was established to recognize high school juniors who embrace creativity and innovation and embody the spirit of discovery, much like the universities of Virginia's founder, Thomas Jefferson. Mr. Jefferson founded the university in 1819 to be a truly national institution separate from the religious affiliations of many of the schools of the day. In fact, as the chief architect of the, of the grounds, he mandated that the rotunda, a library, not a chapel, be the focal point of the university. Today, the university is not only a national, but an international leader in education. U.S. News and World Report ranks UVA as the fourth best public university in the country. Over 15,000 undergraduates study liberal arts and specialized curriculums such as architecture, commerce, engineering, and nursing. The home of 55 Rhodes Scholars is also the holder of 28 national NCAA team championships, which I'm very proud of. This morning, I take great pleasure in announcing this year's Jefferson Book Award winner, Mr. Liam Byrne, an outstanding leader and individual. I believe Mr. Jefferson would, be, would second the teacher's nomination of Liam as he's shown his willingness to serve as a link leader and a member of the uh, principal's advisory board and also through his many hours of community service. Liam's uh, 5.1 weighted GPA has him near the top of the junior class. Please join me in congrat congratulating Liam as this year's Jefferson Book Award winner. Our final book award of the morning uh, is the Yale University Book Award. This award will be presented by Mr. Matthew Mead. Mr. Mead is a 1987 Yale University alumnus. He's the former president of the Yale Club of Pittsburgh and Board of Governors of Yale Alumni Association, current president of the Yale Swimming and Diving Association, and most importantly, father of a Mount Lebanon freshman. Mr. Mead. Good morning, everybody. Um, this event every year is one of the highlights of my year. And the reason is because all of you in this room are passionate about learning. Each of you that have received an award has a passion and enthusiasm for academic excellence, excellence that will serve you well no matter where you go to college. Keep that enthusiasm. Keep pushing to get better and better in the classroom and all the activities that you do. It will serve you well in college and in your life after college. Uh, we, every year we give out the Yale Book Award, and it is to somebody who shows outstanding personal character and intellectual promise. This year's award winner is Natalie McGee. This concludes our Junior Book Awards program. I'd like to again thank our special guests who have joined us this morning to congratulate our students and present our awards. 
uh, also Dr. Davis and Dr. Steinhauer for their attendance. Once again, congratulations though to all of our outstanding recipients. Uh, if we could one more time get a round of applause for all of our recipients. If students would uh, please meet us on the grand staircase, we are going to try and get a group photo. Um, you know, we can space people out, but we do want to get a group photo with everybody there. Um, students are free afterwards to stay in center court. I know this is a little bit of an awkward time because it's 8.30 and school doesn't start till 10 o'clock. Um, you're free to stay in center court until that time or you could leave and then come back for the beginning of school. I don't think you can get a nap in, so it's a tough decision to make. Uh, again, thank you for coming and have a great day.